Are you having the same problem as Sue in South Carolina? Hi Joey, I've been playing with a lot of younger people and it seems they are speeding the ball up on me and I am getting hit. My speed ups <laughs> seem like they are slowing down. What are some things I can do to neutralize this problem? Thank you so much Sue for watching and guys and ladies, I'm gonna break it down right now. Please comment, please subscribe and have a good day. Age brings wisdom. Well, at least if you're watching my channel. Sam, who's in the top right hand corner, had a very poor speed up. Too many people, when they speed it up, they speed it up right into the opponent's sweet spot where they can easily block it. Ben Johns says to speed it up at the right hip or right shoulder for a right handed player. Obviously, for a left handed player, it'd be the opposite. But you really handcuff them. And or you get them to do the chicken wing, you get them off balance, and you put the ball away. The flick is such an effective shot for seniors. When you get a dead dink, take it. It prevents your opponent from speeding the ball up on you. As a general rule, if you speed it up down the middle, it's coming faster down the middle. So when you speed it up, do it medium pace and look to put away the next shot. Mark is in the top right hand corner. He gets off balance and tries to hit a tough backhand roll. If you're a senior, you may not want to really get that low. What can you do? You can hit a fourth shot drop shot. Many times this can be a winner. Mark has another opportunity to hit a fourth shot drop shot. Instead, he tries a lot tougher shot. And look at Ben Johns. Look where he puts this ball. Exactly where I told you at the beginning of the video. The right hip or right shoulder for a right-handed player. And this is beautiful by Mark. It is an awesome shot. He hits a winner on Ben Johns by hitting a fourth shot drop shot. Now keep in mind when you're hitting this. When you're hitting that fourth shot drop shot, have soft hands. Once the ball hits a paddle, it can go back a little. If you have too firm of a grip, especially if you're playing with a power paddle, it's really gonna bounce high and you're gonna hit a very ineffective drop shot. This is Sandy. She's in the bottom right hand corner and watch her closely. She's in a dink and batter with Christina and she hits a beautiful lob that's well disguised. A good tip not to give the lob away is to disguise it as a dink. Don't have a take back. Once you have a take back, you are telegraphing the lob to your opponent and you are losing the element of spontaneity. If you are in a tournament and you're losing some dinking battles that's speeding it up on you, this is a great way to change pace and to gain the advantage of the game. And you just saw another beautiful backhand lob disguised as a backhand dink. And I'll go back, you can take another look. And here it is, just beautiful. It catches your opponent off guard. The lob should be used sporadically. I believe sporadically is the right word. Don't overuse it. Maybe once or twice a game I would recommend. Not too much. I can't stress that. Enough. When I am teaching seniors to hit the overhead, lots of times they have trouble snapping their wrist and if you're younger you might have shoulder problems. A motion that is a lot less stressful on the shoulder is almost this sky hook motion. And it really is effective and it will not hurt your rotator cuff. Here is another example of the sky hook. You can get power on this and you can put it away but most likely be ready to hit the next shot. You know? That's all I'm saying. The final and most effective way to stop opponents from hitting crazy speed ups on you is don't hit out balls. I'm a banger. If my opponents keep letting the ball go, I'm going to have to stop hitting it. A good way not to hit out balls is to keep your paddle out in front, low, below your chest. That way, if a ball's hit really hard above your chest or shoulder, don't hit it. Just let it go by and um, they might not hit it as hard next time. Nick is in the orange shirt. He is so disciplined on not hitting out balls. Let me say that again, discipline. I hit so many out balls when I watch videos of myself and it literally makes me sick. Like. I'm thinking about it and I'm sick. <laughs> Guys and ladies, thank you so much for watching. Try using these shots in rec play today. And if you say you're not playing today, I say drop everything and go to the local courts. <laughs> please, please subscribe, leave your comments. Have a good night. Until next time at the Pickleball Pirates.